Thank you. Hi, Brian, it's Una. I never sent you a reply to that question you asked me the other, the other day. I decided to do this instead to see if it would be more of a help than typing out a big long reply. Um, so to answer your question about how, is it, how much is it going to cost you to go to Tato Park and back, uh, the first thing you kind of need to know is how many miles do you get per euro or per 20 euros or whatever amount it is that you put in your car. So you need to know your car. Okay, so if you know that you get 200 miles for every 20 quid of petrol that you put in, for example, then you just divide those miles by the number of euros, so 200 divided by 20, to see how many miles you get for every euro. So in this case, it will be 200 divided by 20, which will give you 10, and that means you get 10 miles per euro, okay? Um, if you only get 150 miles from 20 euros, so a less efficient car, um, then you divide that number of miles, which is 150, by your 20 euros again to see how many miles you get for one euro. So here you can see we've divided 150 by 20 and you get 7.5. So now you get 7.5 miles for every euro instead of 10 miles for every euro. By the way, with this division, you can do that on a calculator. You don't have to do this out longhand. It's problem solving. It kind of assumes you know how to do this already. Um, down here, I talk a little bit about how to figure out how many miles you get per litre, but I really don't think that's important. So I'm going to skip on to this page. Um, yeah, this page, I'm slightly further down. Okay, so getting back to your question, if you know that your journey is 50 miles, now you can figure out how much the journey will cost you in petrol. So if you get a nice 10 miles per euro, uh, there are five tens in, that should say 50, not 50 euros, because this is your 50 mile journey. So there are five tens in there. Uh, you know that each 10 miles costs you a euro. So it's five times one euro will give you five euros. So it'll cost you five euros in this case to get to Table Park. Uh, if, however, you get 7.5 miles per euro, then you have to divide your 50 miles by 7.5. Now, getting back to our long division, uh, and bear in mind, you don't have to do all of this out. You can use a calculator, but I'll talk through it just in case you want to see it. So that's 50 miles divided by 7.5, okay? We don't want that decimal point there. So we multiply it by 10. We multiply 7.5 by 10 to give us 75. But when we do that, we have to multiply the number being divided by 10 as well, okay? That's, so your, five, your 50 becomes 500, okay? So now you're dividing 500 by 75, okay? So you kind of have to guess then, or do a bit of rough work to figure this out, okay? So you're thinking 75 into five doesn't go, 75 into 50 doesn't go, 75 into 500, I don't know, take a guess five times, okay? So you do your multiplication, then you do five times five is 25, and you'd carry a two here, which I didn't, I didn't write down, but I did carry it. Seven fives are 35 plus two is 37. So you take the 30, 375 away from the 500 to get 125 and you go, oh, I could have gotten another 75 out of that. So now we're gonna do it by six over here, okay? So now you're guessing, okay, there's six 75s and 500. So can't get it into five, can't get it into uh, 50, but you can get it into 500, six times we think. Six fives are 30, zero there, carry your three. Uh, six sevens are 42, plus three is 45. Take that away from the 500 and you're left with 50. So all you're saying there is that 75 goes into 500 six times with 50 left over, okay? Again, uh, 75 won't go into 50. You're already at your decimal point here, so you add in a decimal point and some zeros after the decimal point. So you can bring down this zero then to make this 500 and you already know that 75 goes into 500 six times or six times here's our six here so it gives you 450 and you have 50 left over and you pull down another zero another 500 this will go on like this 6.66666 for ages and you'll see when you do it on a calculator that you'll get 6.666 okay just round it call it 6.66 okay and like I said, it's fine to do this on the calculator. Uh, you just do 50 divided by 7.5, and guess what? You'll get 6.666, okay? So in this one, there are 6.66, 7.5 in 50 euros. 
So you multiply one euro by 6.66, your journey, if you're, get seven, if you're getting 7.5 um, miles per every, for every euro, for 50 miles, it's going to cost you uh, 6.66, okay? Um, that euro sign shouldn't be there. Keep doing that. I don't know why. Yeah, seven. we want to find out how many 7.5s there are in a 50-mile journey because you know that you get 7.5 miles for every euro. So 6.66 times one euro to get you 50 miles. I'll send this to you. Let me know if it makes sense, okay? It just can be an easier way to um, explain things than just sending you an email. Uh, so you'll get that tomorrow. This is Sunday. You'll get it tomorrow. Um, just fire me an email back. Let me know if it makes sense. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye.